The homepage dashboard is your entire business at a glance. Sales, clients, leads, invoices, and affiliate statistics as you can measure performance and track trends. Um, you're able to actually choose dates, um, so you can look at the data from last month, last six months uh, for each of these items up here. Um, on the right side here, we got some alerts and notifications. As it sounds, you know, this is what's going to keep you up to date with what's going on in your system. You're going to have, you know, new web form signups, um, alerts, uh, any billing failures that you might have. Uh, you'll have some letters due in, reminders, uh, and things of that nature. That sidebar is going to be present on most pages within the site. Uh, and it's just a really handy tool to kind of see where you're at and what's new. Uh, down here is a quick summary of all the different types uh, of clients and leads and invoices pending. Uh, of course, clicking on each one of these will take you to that table. At the bottom here, we've got uh, five of the most recent customers that have signed up or have been added to the system. Same thing with leads. Uh, and as you'll notice, we have sort of a lead interest level, uh, sort of one through four, from very cold to very hot. I've um, got some reminders here for anything that's uh, coming up and due. As you can see in this example, this is past due on our demo account here. Um, messages, these would be messages coming from your clients. So it would be anybody sending a message from the customer portal uh, or the affiliate portal. Um, so that way you can just keep track of, of the newest stuff as it's coming in. And of course you can view all to pull up the whole communication center. Uh, down here at the very bottom, we have a calendar that you can use to set appointments. Uh, as you're working the file, uh, doing your disputes and talking to the client, you can schedule out you know, consultations, reminders, uh, quick calls with a click of a button. Uh, it's fairly easy to do, and you can start building your tasks for the day or for the week. Um, two more things on here. Um, th obviously, there's a quick way to add new clients and new leads. Uh, we'll be diving into that a little bit more deeply later. Uh, but if you want to look at add new client for an example, fairly straightforward. Um, all their basic information, we have an autofill address system. So if you just start typing their address, it'll actually fill the rest of it in for you, which is kind of a neat time-saving feature. Um, if you happen to have their uh, billing information, you can go ahead and put it in here. Uh, it can also be added later in the process. But you know, if you have it, punch it in. And then, of course, you got your client settings. Uh, we'll go into all of this in a little more detail when we get down to the client level on the demo. But as you can see, there's a lot of different controls and statuses that you can set to kind of customize it and tailor it to the way that you do business. Um, one of the more important things that we have, uh, and you know, if you have a lot of clients and they start getting emails and they get upset and they want to unsubscribe and they just can't figure out how to do it through the email, you can always come in here and opt them out uh, same thing with the SMS. If you're using two-way SMS, which is another feature we'll be talking about later, um, your client may decide that you know he doesn't want to receive messages anymore. It's a quick, easy way to get them logged out of that, so they'll stop receiving those campaigns. Um, in this case, we're adding a new client. There's always the option to uh, enable the portal access right here on this first screen. Uh, again, you can also do it later. Uh, but if you do that, and after you hit save, it'll actually shoot out those emails with their login and password and instructions to log in. 